Hey, our friends say we're going to be drawing the Cuddle Team Leader. Yeah, from Fortnite. Yeah. We hope you're going to follow along with us. We've got a marker. Some paper and something to color with. Okay, let's first draw her eyes. We're going to draw two circles, and we're going to draw them uh, pretty small, and we're going to draw them with some space in between. So I'm going to come over here and draw the other one way over here on this side. Yeah, now inside, let's draw our pupils. We're going to draw a bigger circle, or a sm smaller circle, sorry. <laughs> and then inside, let's add a little dot for the pupil. There we go, yeah. And then Big dot. <laughs> big dot. And then we can do the same thing over here on this side. Little circle and a pupil inside. Now let's draw her nose, and it's a heart shape. So we're going to draw a little heart in between her two eyes. And you can draw, it's like drawing upside down J's that are connected. And then we can color in that heart shape. Now when we fast forward the video, or if you need more time because we're going too fast, you can always pause the video. Pause the video. Now let's draw her snout. And we're going to draw an upside down U that starts over here, goes over her nose, and then back down. Good. Now we're going to connect each side into the bottom of the heart. So we're going to start here. Curve around and then back up. Then we're going to do the same thing over on this side. Curve around and then connect into the bottom of the heart. Yeah. All right, now let's draw our mouth. We're going to draw a U shape underneath. And then we can draw another U that's bigger on the outside of that one. Now we're going to draw the shape of her head and what shape is it? A circle. A circle. We're going to start above her nose and we're going to draw a circle, we're gonna get close to her eye over here, go under her chin, get close to the other eye, and then connect back up at the top. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. There you go, keep going. Under her chin. Oh, you did it! Yeah, close to her eye, and then connect at the top. Alright, good <laughs> job. We got it's her a big this, head. Yeah. <laughs> she looks like a mascot. Yeah. Right? <laughs> So let's draw her ears next. We're going to draw an upside down U right here. And we don't want to draw them too big. Then we're going to draw another U inside. And we're going to repeat that same step over here for her right ear. Draw a big upside down U. And then another one inside. Now she has two spikes of fur sticking out on the top of her head. So let's draw two V, upside down V shapes, right in the middle of her forehead. All right. Now, what else does she have on her forehead? A scar. Yeah, it looks like a scar coming down from the top of her head and then connecting to her left eye. And I drew it kind of wavy, and then we can draw another one next to it coming down and connecting to the eye also. All right, Jack, we finished her head. What should we draw next? Her body. Her body. Let's draw two lines coming down from her chin, and towards the bottom, they're going to taper towards her waist. Yeah, and then we can connect those at the bottom. Then we're going to draw her legs, and we're going to flare at the bottom, so we're going to get further away from each other. Yeah. Good job. Now let's draw her feet. We can draw another diagonal line that comes out that's shorter. Then let's draw the bottom of her feet. And on each side, we want to make sure that they're the same length. Yeah. Now we're going to connect these two feet with an upside down V. We're going to go up and then back down and connect to the other side. I love your legs, man. It looks like she's in a power stance. Yes. She's getting ready to run. Yeah. <laughs> now let's add more details to her body. We're going to draw the bottom of her shoes, so we can draw two lines down on the front and the back of each shoe. And then connect those lines also. Then let's draw her belt. I'm going to draw a line that goes across her waist. And we can also draw, she has, a, it's a bear costume, so let's draw her belly next. We're going to draw a big oval shape. It comes down, around, and back up. It crosses over her belt. Next, let's draw her boots. 
We're going to draw a line about halfway down her legs on each side. Then let's draw her knee pad. So I'm going to draw a little rectangle shape and then let's connect it to the other side of her leg. Then let's add a strap on the boot down here. We'll add two lines. And then she has a shin guard over her boot. So right here, right up below her knee pad, we're going to draw another line that connects to that strap. Imagine it going behind the strap, coming down, and then connecting to the outside. Yeah, good job. Now let's add two straps to her left leg. I'm going to draw two lines that are right next to each other so it's a little thicker. And then we'll add another strap right below that one. Good. Now let's add two X's for the shoelaces on her boot, on the left boot. So there's one X and another X. Okay, what's on her body? A heart that's cracked. Yeah, there's a cracked heart. So let's first draw that it looks like a lightning bolt going right down the middle. So I'm gonna draw a zigzag line down. Then I'm gonna draw another zigzag line right next to it, like that. And then on each side, we're gonna draw the heart shape. So over here on the left side, I'm gonna draw a curve that comes around and connects down to the bottom and do the same thing on the other side. Another curve comes around, connects down to the bottom. Cool, good job, you did it. Now let's color in the each heart shape. So the left side and the right side. What is she missing, dude? Her arms. Her arms. Let's draw a curve on each side coming down from her shoulder. I'm gonna draw one over here and one on the right side also. Then we can draw another curve up here, but I'm gonna draw it shorter. This is the inside of her arm, and we can do the same thing over here. All right, next let's draw her thumbs. We're gonna draw a sideways U for a thumb on each hand. Then let's draw her finger down here. So we'll draw another U like that. And then you can connect it into her thumb. And let's do the same thing over here on this side. Sideways U and then connect it in. Let's add a few more fingers. I'm just gonna draw a little curve sticking out and then back in for one finger. And then you can do the same thing for one more finger. And it will do the same thing on this side. Just repeat those same steps. All right, now she has gloves. So let's draw a line on her wrist. Now the fingers on her gloves are cut off so you can actually see her fingers, her actual fingers. So let's put a line across on the thumb and also down here. Yeah, and repeat that same thing over here on this side. Let's add one more detail. I'm gonna draw a curve coming down from her chin and connecting to the outside. And this is for her backpack that she could be wearing. And then let's color in those shapes. All right, Jack, we did it. We finished drawing Cuddle Team Leader. She looks really cool, except she's gonna look even better once we do what? Color. Yeah, we gotta color her. This part, we're gonna fast forward one more time, but you guys can pause it to match the same coloring at the very end. Good job on coloring Cuddle Team Leader. She turned out awesome. I especially love the shading that we added to the bottom of her head to make her look more 3D. And I also really like the aqua blue color yeah. around the outside. She looks like she's glowing. Yeah. What time is it, Jack? Challenge time. Yeah, we want to challenge you guys to finish your drawing by adding something. What should they add? Their favorite pickaxe. Oh, super cool. Draw your favorite pickaxe on the side, or you could even draw it so it looks like she's holding on to it. And then ask your parents to take a photo of your drawing and post it to Instagram and use two tags. Uh, hashtag AFKH challenge. Yeah, and at? Art for Kids Hub. Yeah, at Art for Kids Hub notifies us and lets us know that you've posted something and the hashtag keeps all the art together so it's easy to find. Then on Monday, we're gonna pick some lucky art friends to spotlight in the lesson and we're gonna send them a prize. Where a $20 we... Amazon gift card. Yeah, to buy more art supplies. We can't wait to see your awesome drawings and we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.